Good morning. We are pulling into port at Key West. The sun is just rising. Super calm, super peaceful. We all slept like babies last night. We left a little bit of the door open so we could hear the waves. So relaxing. We're scheduled to be at Key West by 8 a.m. It's um, only about 6.30. But it looks like we're pulling in fairly soon here. I can see land up ahead. It is just a gorgeous day. It's warm. And the water is just so peaceful. So there's dolphins jumping just off the, off the ship here. I don't know where they are. I right know oh, we're getting closer to where they were that was cool though there's a f few of them quite a few of them oh there they are they're out there they're still jumping let's see them yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah two of them at least they must be like, like a ball of the boat, yeah I can zoom in and see them better. There they are, over there. there. There might be more. Yeah, I think there's a few of them. Hey, Mom, at least we're over here. Yeah, we can see it. We're pulling in. We're, we're in a good spot. Look, see, we can also see the, like, her, yep. uh, like, looking out. She's up on the bridge, watching out, making sure we don't hit any of the buoys. Buoys? What's yep. that? Those little things in the water right here that guide us in. Oh, look at all those birds. Come on. Where do you see them? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of birds out there, aren't there? Oh, are they no, they're just sleeping. Oh, sleeping. Sleeping There's birds. There's still morning for them. Hey, Mom, that's actually, I look, I think, I saw like 50, I saw like a trillion of those, those flying. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're ready to fly. Yep. Da, da, da. Key West. Well, we are pretty much docked. Here's Key West. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. The sun's out. They're down there roping it off. All right. Well, we're here. Let's get dressed and have breakfast. Good morning again. We are out of our room, dressed, ready to go. We're in the main dining room. Uh, what is it, Grand Cuvée? Okay. Cuvée is the dining room, and we are getting breakfast in the dining room instead of the buffet this morning. Coffee, pastry, juice. We're waiting for our Great breakfast. I know, Sean ordered literally everything on the menu. I'm starving. I have to eat. <laughs> Don't mind my hair. I have had. It's not bad. Okay, we got our breakfast. I got poached eggs, hash, and a croissant. Jameson got pancakes and bacon. Got cake, you got cam and swing by. Thank you. Sean got everything on the menu. The mushrooms look really good. Yeah, you can have some if you want some. Yeah, those look delicious. Alright, let's eat. We are off the ship at Key West. We're gonna start walking towards 
I think it's called JV JVE carts something like that I'll put it in the description below but we're renting a golf cart for the day and we're gonna tour the island in a golf cart Look how blue the water yeah, is. Look at the, Look at the fish. Oh, they're yeah. jumping. Yeah, tons of them. Tons of them out there. Yeah. You don't realize how big the, the ship is until you sit back and look at it. Let's look at the ship for a second. There it is. Our balcony is literally, it's like in the front, it's up there. Right in front of <clears throat> that, where those cables are tied. Yes. I think we were, no, we might be just a little bit forward. We're yeah. on the part that sticks out. Yeah. So we're See up that, in that there. Lady in the pink shirt. Yeah. I think we might be one under her. Maybe. No, we're up higher. We're up higher than her because we're on eight. So. Maybe one higher than her. Yeah. Or we're one below the bridge. So no, I think we are on that level. That's cool. Everybody's getting off the boat. We're here until about 4.30. But we're only gonna rent our cart for four hours. They do full day and half day rentals. It's a hundred dollars for a half day for a four-seater, which I don't think was very bad. I thought that was pretty good. We didn't book anything through the cruise ship. We did this all on our own. Um, sometimes I like to do that because it's cheaper, save a little money, but there's all kinds of tours along the pier here that you can do. Bike rentals, snorkeling. All right, I'm gonna open up my phone and get directions. So we're kind of just walking along the little line of shops here, right when you dock. It's very cute. I haven't been here since I was maybe 13 years old. I came with my family once then, but it's changed a lot. And obviously we weren't cruising, we drove in. So this is all, all new to us. But I pulled up the directions. It's called JV Rental, is where we're going. It's a five minute walk from the cruise port. So we're just gonna walk and see if we can find it. It's ice cream, everything bamboo. What's this place? Not really sure. Lots of shops. Chickens. Oh, they're roosting. <laughs> Lots of chicken and roosters. Yeah. Key lime pie bakery. Oh, here's one right here. Hey there. Funny. Coconut factory. Coconut factory. Oh, it's happy rooster. That's funny. Yep, the happy rooster. Happy rooster that escaped. You can hear him crowing. Alright, so it looks like where we're going is just up here on the right hand side, not very far. Brewster kids, the mom just got away. Yep. The kids are chasing him. Amigos, burritos, margaritas, and tacos. It's like a taco bar. Look at the tiki's up in the top of the house up there. 
Remember Sloppy Joe's from yep. Tampa? Yep, that's Sloppy Joe's, yep. That's the original, I think. That's the original, yep. huh? Right. So we got our golf cart. So we're off. Jameson's back there. And we're getting ready to tour Key West. The Bronco would be fun down here. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Bronco. So there's our golf cart and we are right now in the cemetery. Oh, the, oh, look at them all. Look at all the lizards on the thing right there. There's tons of them. I think they're little iguanas. Look at them. Tons of lizards. You can see them. They're out sunning themselves. There was a huge one over here not too long ago. But yeah, they're iguanas. And they kind of like hide down underneath the cemetery stones. We've seen a bunch of them. So we're out touring. This is our first stop. Did they all run off? Yeah, they all ran off, but there was tons of them. There's one out there right now. Yeah, they go like underneath the the gravestones. Yep. There's a little baby one right there. Yeah, there's some big ones. Baby one. But yeah, they're out sunning themselves right now. Those are big guys. Yeah, those are massive. Oh mom. This this must be the hole they go yep, through. Yep, that's where they live. They live down in there. Why is there right next to the like the cemetery? Well, that's just where they want to be. What, like eat the, like eat the human? Like, um, 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 um. There's a plane going overhead. And we are looking for geocaches. Okay, this next one's going to be up at this next right, right here. You can probably park on just the side of the road right over here, right behind like this car for a second. It's like right in here somewhere. What'd you find? Did you find it? Oh, a little seashell. We found our first cache on Key West and it's right across the street from the cemetery. It's kind of in this little alcove. Should we take this? If you want, take a coin. It's up to you. Whatever you like to take, that's this in there. This looks really pretty, so yeah. Let me do. All this. right, put the cover on it, and can you put it back in there and hide it up? First geocache of Ooh. the day. for a liquor store so Sean can get a bottle to take photos of. So we're heading down to the beach area and we're gonna look for another geocache near the park down here. Here's the trolley. Is this it? Oh no, the train. This is the train. This is like one of the only beachy areas, I think, in Key West. Higgs Beach. That's why I said Higgs. H-I-G-G-S. Can I learn the sand? No, it's Higgs. Can I learn the sand? Hey. You want to walk down here near the water more? Yeah. Sure. Well, look at that, uh, that cactus right there. That is... Cactus. So that is a botanical garden, I think. I think we can go there. Can I 
Shauna's gonna get some pictures, but here's the pier. It's pretty, huh? Yeah. I should have worn Crocs because I would have gotten in and taken a picture of it shooting up. Right. I have Crocs. You have Crocs on, huh? I'll probably get over there. But I'm gonna get wet. I can maybe angle it that way slightly. Look at this cactus growing off the side of the wall here. That's really cool. It's huge. It's gigantic. Gorgeous though. Is there a um, is there a better section of it? So here's the sign, the African Cemetery at Higgs Beach, which is just to the left here. We're gonna go into the botanical garden. Here's the African Cemetery, Key West African Cemetery. I went and walked in the water and a big wave came and splashed me and I'm soaking wet. <laughs> everywhere. Water was warm though, huh? Yeah, it was beautiful. You know what it reminded me of? Remember when we were getting starfish? It, it reminded me a little bit of like of that. All right, so yeah, you can go in. So this is the Key West Garden Club. Wait a minute. Go in. Oh yeah, that's cool. We're just exploring through here, through the garden club. Ooh, this is cool, huh? I'm gonna take one of these maps so we can kind of look at it while we're driving along. Looks like they've got t-shirts and stuff. No, you can just go in. Yeah. Here's the map and history. Maps and brief history of the Garden Club. This is very cool. Look at all the succulents. This is cool. An old brick building. Very pretty in here. Very tropical. Pretty, huh? Walking out through the gardens. It's like a botanical garden. Experience. Yeah, look this at these. Place. Smell them? Can you smell them? Yeah. They smell so pretty. I think it might be a juke here. Mm, I don't think so. Huh? These smell beautiful. So I don't know if I got the first part of this because my camera stopped working. But we're in the Garden Club. Just kind of exploring. Hey, also, a I saw a tunnel right there. Oh, oh look at that lizard. Oh, oh yeah, another lizard. Sunning themselves today. So you can get right close to him, huh, Jameson? Oh. Uh, take a picture with the Jameson with it. <laughs> oh, I can't find it. Put the bottle next to it. Alright, so here is the map of historic Key West. We are down here at Higgs Beach area near the southernmost point. 
Is there a worm on the ground? Oh, yep, yeah, it is a worm. So pretty in here. Pretty little waterfall. So tropical and it's nice because it's like covered so it's not very hot. Look at the pretty um, red the leaves or flowers up in the tree. Yeah. See? Or petals or whatever they are. Oh, butterfly garden. We can come in the butterfly garden. Okay, go ahead. Let's go in the butterfly garden. I don't know what this is, too. Oh. Yeah, that's what's up in the tree. They're like these big butterfly blossoms garden. up in the tree. Oh. Yeah, tons butterfly. of butterflies. You think they'll land on your hand? Yeah, also look at that. All kinds of statues and plants. I wonder if there are a portugal on my hand. I don't know, maybe. They're monarch butterflies from what it looks like. They're beautiful. So this is an almond tree. And you can see the almonds are falling off of it. Look at the palm fully loaded with coconuts over there. Oh yeah. Yep, there's all the coconuts up in that coconut. Palm. Oh, no, not being there, but that one is. That could be falling. There's the water where we just were. It is so pretty here. And it's free. It doesn't cost anything to come here. You can just walk in and explore. It's gorgeous. No, that's fine. Enjoy. Thank you. Beautiful. Yes. How pretty is this? Seriously, it's gorgeous. Jameson's doing the maze. Catching up to them. <laughs> You're almost there. You did it. Oh, now you're gonna get back out. Okay. Brief history of Fort West Martello. So that's what this was. Fort West Martello. Key West Garden Club, Fort West Martello. Thank you. So pretty, highly recommend you check this place out if you are in Key West doing an excursion of your own. We like to do our own excursions and yeah, so there is a geocache across the street as well. As well. You want to go find the geocache now? Yeah. Okay, let's go find the geocache. Because 
it's uh it's down there. I don't know if you want to go all the way down and see about what you can do. Busy frozen drinks on the corner. That's cool. Go yeah, go straight. Okay. Southernmost point is right down here. You can see it. You can see it from here. We go right down to the end, and we don't have to stop and get in line yeah, unless you okay. want to, because this is see it. It's cool just to check it out. I mean, you so could probably yeah. Picture, a you gotta stop here. But there it is. There's southernmost point. And it's cool that we're on cart. We can just kind of. Drive by and check it out. Southernmost point. That's neat. Cherry. What did you get? You got a, a Shirley Temple with a ton of cherries. And huh? I bet this is boozy. You think it's boozy? I don't think so. <laughs> so we are here at Tipsy Rooster having a cocktail and a mocktail. And it's right here on the street near southernmost point down there. It's kind of a fun little stop. It's like 23 with tip. We got the, it's called the Big Bird, which is right there. It's a blackberry infused bourbon, blackberry brandy, lemonade, and a splash of Sprite. And it's very good. All right, we are here at Gatto Village Pocket Park, and there's another geocache here. I think you can just go in. Here. Oh, this is like inspiring thing too. Yeah. We can just look around and see if we find the geocache in here. This is supposed to be another little geocache. Again, geocaching is bringing us to places we probably wouldn't normally go to. All right, let's see if we can find it. place to park and we are going to look for something to eat there's the conk republic seafood company over here and we're in this kind of like little area that has a lot of restaurants so we're just gonna see what we can find there's the key lime pie place which is around the corner we're just gonna walk and see what we can find Fisherman's Cafe. Oh, you, might like, uh, you might like the island bowl. It's white rice and black beans. Yeah, bean. I'm being or else you will bite off. Uh, you'll bite us off. So I'm fine with sharing something Let's if you want. Like shrimp thing, then. Okay. It's a wrap. We'll okay. Sure. So we got blackened shrimp wrap, which looks delicious. And Jameson just got some french fries. Okay. Looks really good, huh? You want to bite of that wrap? It's a busy little street here. We found a nice little table right near the road so we can watch everybody walk by, people watch. This looks amazing. This is a cool little place too. So our shrimp, blackened shrimp rack was very good. Oh, yep, the bird, pigeon. Wow! It's huge! Just hanging out. Yeah. 
So we're checking out local treasures. Jameson wants to see what's in here. All kinds of little Key West souvenirs. They have a southernmost point magnet, which is cool. Those are cool. Go over this side. Is this, uh, yeah, we can go in here. So let's go on this side. There's shirts. Oh, it's a different spot. It's a different spot. We'll go back over. Okay, we'll go back over. This building is covered with stickers from all over the place. It's kind of cool. The whole back side and around the edge or around the sides and the back are covered with stickers that's really neat stickers from everywhere that's kind of cool yep i bet there's some old stickers on there I bet there's some really old stickers, huh? Yeah, that's dangerous. Why do you put on this? So we're in the Kino Sandal Factory and they make the coolest sandals. Thank you. I'll try these. I'm gonna try some. I think they run a little bit small because I'm trying a 10 and I'm not normally a 10 but I tried an eight and a half and a nine and they were both too small but they're cute so yes I ended up getting a pair of sandals which are very comfortable and they're literally made right here in Key West very cool and they were only $25 for real leather handmade pretty much handmade sandals yeah, that's so cool. They were making them in the back while we were there. All right, so this is Mallory Square. And there's all kinds of little souvenirs and little outdoor booths with all kind of tchotchkes, souvenirs and things to purchase. Christmas ornaments. This one's cute. West. More roosters. Pretty little wind chimes. Here's some southernmost point knickknacks. Oh yeah, we can go over there and check it out. Yeah, there's the sponge market and the Shell warehouse right there too. That's kind of cool. We've covered a lot of ground today because we had the golf cart. We were able to like go all over the whole island practically. Oh yeah, maybe. Could be. Salty frogs. This is a, some sort of a memorial. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tennessee Williams. Hmm. 
Sister Louise Gabrielle. Senator John M. Spotswood. Here's Harry Truman. You should get, you should grow your beard like this, Sean. <laughs> oh, you're bored in here? Okay. We can go into some more shops. It's kind of cool to see. Margot Colon, or Golan. Philanthropist in Key West. So we decided to get a coffee. We both were feeling like having a nice iced coffee. So we are here at Cuban Coffee Queen. We got a piece of original key lime pie at the uh, key lime pie, Key West key lime pie place. Who's gonna try it first? Good. Jamie's got some ice cream too. All right, let's see how this is. It looks good. Mm. <laughs> All right, so what was your review on the key lime pie? Well, it's tasty, but a little sour. A little sour? I think it's supposed to be. It's lime. And I thought it was delicious. All right, come on. We're going back on the ship. Let's go. So, consensus? from the Key Lime Pie Bakery Thanks, is that the Key Lime Pie is delicious. What'd you think? Good. Good? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you and Jameson. Jameson's like, it's good. A little sour, but good. I think it's supposed to be sour. So we are here in Grand Cuvée again for dinner. We're gonna have our second night of dinner here. It was very good last night. So we'll see what they have tonight. All right, so this is the salad. I forget what it was called, but it has cranberries and blue cheese and bacon and arugula, I think. And then Sean got the escargot. Did you have one already? You had two already? Okay. Good. You want one? No, thank you. And Jameson has some yummy pasta with butter. <laughs> was it good? Bon Appetit. Okay, so I got the stuffed portobello mushroom, which looks very good. And Sean got the grilled cobia with what are they, a little... It's a barbecue glaze and it's just got like a little bit of potato and green beans. Yeah, looks good. All right, so for dessert, I got the chocolate cake, which is just like a three-layer chocolate cake. Pretty kind of basic. Looks good, though. Sean got the Filo tulip. tulip, which that looks good. And then strawberry that's soup. Strawberry soup. That's interesting looking. But you'll have to tell me how that tastes. Is it like a jello or like a... What was it, a panna cotta? Yep. Looks good. How is it? It's like a strawberry shortcake soup. Oh. It's refreshed. Yeah, looks good. All right.